Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I'm here with the Rise of Tyranny 2-pack. Yes, it has Senator Ratbat and Minor Megatron. And looking at them, they're obviously remold repaints of other figures, but that's kind of cool. It harkens back to the origins of Megatron and Ratbat years ago on Cybertron before the Great War and the falling out and all that shit. I don't know, I didn't read those comics, but I'm going to go through this pack and see if it's good for your collection. Be right back. So as you can see, it's a very cool looking box. It's got pictures of both characters on the front there. It's got them in their toy modes right there. From the Transformers Legacy line. And I do find it interesting that they kind of are Looking at two different versions of the origins of these characters. This one was from the comic book, but we have the Ward 1 2-pack, which is from the cartoon. So anyway, I got these. There's another set, and that's a shitty piece of paper. That uh, what's interesting is I ordered also, as you might imagine, the Shockwave and Optimus 2-pack from Amazon, and they sent me this. I also had ordered this from Hasbro Pulse and received it as well. So uh, I'm hoping that Amazon sends me the right shit. But we have Megatron out of this package. Felt a little loose there. And he fell over. The legs feel kind of wobbly. I mean, they've used this mold a bunch of times, so stay. So hopefully Amazon will send me the right ones because uh, I'd like to have the other set too. I had tried to order it on has repulse, but it was sold out by the time I got to it. So much for being a premium plus fucking member. All right. So obviously, Minor Megatron is Siege Megatron, but they did a uh, little bit of recoloring, remolding, particularly in the weapons. And Senator Ratbat is Scourge. Oh, and they got some drugs. I keep saying that. One day I'll give up that joke. So Megatron has a pickaxe that you can put a drill at the end of, just like so. And Ratbat has a weapon. Now, Ratbat's an interesting character. He wasn't much in the cartoon, but in the comic book, he was for a time second in command to Shockwave, who had taken over. And then he was leader. I mean, he was a fucking cassette. How did he lead the goddamn Decepticons? But he, apparently he did. I guess he who controls the fuel can uh, control the Decepticons. So let's take a look at Megatron first. I mean, I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly. We're gonna take this uh, weapon out of his hand. Apparently the drill can also go on his arm, similar to his fusion cannon, and he can drill the shit out of somebody. But let's examine this robot mode, Minor Megatron, and of course, same posability as the Siege, full of Jean-Claude Van Damme, pivots, bends at the knee, can go forward, can go back to the side. The arms can go all the way around, they pivot. The fists don't twist. He does pivot or twist at the waist, so that's kind of cool. And his head turns. Again, same as the Siege Megatron. It's an interesting use of that mold. I am feeling that the legs are kind of not locking. I mean, they're not super, super loose, but they're kind of loose. There's his back, which he has the treads. He should have ankle rockers, which are a little stiff. And of course he has the stabilizing heels there. I mean, he's got like caution tape on him because you should be cautious around Megatron. So overall, I mean, he's a cool looking version of the toy, but I'm not thrilled about the potential wobbliness of the legs. And the accessories, this came in two pieces. You can put it together into a pickaxe for mining and he's got a drill. So I don't really need the instructions all that much. I'm just seeing what kind of stuff is here. Like, for example, when he's not working, he can put the pickaxe on his back. He can also put the drill on his back. Storage for his tools. The drill also comes out of the mount there. So I don't know if he needs to change the tip. And you can apparently finagle this in a number of different ways. You can, because it comes apart, you can put this part here and this part here and the drill on top. So you have that kind of weapon, kind of a spear axe type thing. You can have them separate 
whatever really works for you. So it's kind of like build your own sonic screwdriver, build your own Megatron weapon. But we've checked out this robot mode, which again, the legs are a little bit loose, so not happy about that. But let's go ahead and get him into his vehicle mode. So there he is in his tank mode. Rolling is kind of sliding. He's got little wheels on the bottom because obviously the treads don't actually work. And his drill turret here doesn't really turn. So he just kind of goes forward and destroys, which is, you know, pretty much Megatron. I kind of move this out of place a little bit. Let me get it back into alignment. Yeah, the design, if you're not too careful, you can knock things out of alignment. This is a little bit different of a transformation than, not much, but a little bit than the Siege one. But yeah, he's a drill tank. Now, a lot of people think drill tanks, oh, you can drill through the wall and keep going. I mean, look at this. He can drill a hole, but the rest of him's not getting through. Now, if this like shoots out, you know, some kind of force field drill type thing, maybe, maybe then he gets through, but... But there he is, Minor Megatron. You know, he wanted to form a labor union and, you know, shit happened. But not a bad version of the character. I kind of like the coloration and the different accessories. All right, let's check out Senator Ratbat here. Now again, doesn't look anything like a cassette. <laughs> kind of annoying, but apparently he wasn't always a cassette. He does have a bit of ankle rockers, so you can pose him appropriately. Now he can kind of do it looks like a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mmm, close. I mean, almost. And he can't really do a full toes up one because there's these things here. So not quite as poseable as you might hope. We're gonna take your gun out of your hand because uh, you're a politician. You're supposed to not need such weapons. So, you know, you're, am I violating your second amendment rights? But the legs can move forward. Again, he's got some Interference, so it doesn't go all the way, but backwards it goes pretty much 90 degrees. Go off to the side, doesn't really have a swivel, bends at the knee, you know. And he's got this little greave here so he can really dig into the nuts. As far as twisting at the waist, let's see. He does, he twists at the waist. There's something interfering from it going all the way around, and I'm not gonna force it, but he can turn a little bit each way. The arms, I mean, they could go all the way around, but he's got these wonderful wings here. Bend at the elbow, he can twist his fists, do turn. I mean, obviously this is based on the studio series Scourge, so all the features there hold true. And his head, I mean, he's got this little neck cover because you don't want to get stabbed in the back of the neck, but uh, his head does turn. If it turns too far, you know, he's kind of, his peripherals are a little blocked here. He turns his head, he can't really see what's behind him very easily. But it's definitely a nice deco. Kind of a bat-like symbol here. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Ratbat. You can see on his back here, he's got pieces of his alt mode. So he's got a bit of kibble back there, but he's still a nice looking uh, figure overall. As good looking as Scourge. And you know, the purple and black with a little gold highlights and a little silver around his head. He's a fine looking cassette to be. One day, my friend, you will be a cassette and you will hang out in Soundwave's chest a lot. I wonder how, like, you get to be a cassette, you know, and subservient to Soundwave. And again, he's like six and a half, a little bit more as tall. Same as a Scourge. Let's get this politician into his alt mode. It has been a little while since I've transformed Scourge. So I will refer to the instructions here. So there is Senator Scourge. I'm not sorry, Senator Ratbat. Just the uh, mold threw me off, you understand. In his purple and black glory, he's still got a little symbol here, which is kind of cool, which looks kind of like a bat with bat ears. And again, you can see the gold on the top of his head there. But yeah, the Scourge mold is good. And this mold, I didn't detect any looseness. He seems fine. It hasn't been overused quite as much, but there he is. You can see the wings on the bottom, which are kind of bat-like, and he can fly. I mean, he looks like he could also be a boat, but you know, that's just Scourge as he is. Weapon storage is on the side here. Um, these have a tendency, but of course that's with Scourge as well, to kind of move to the side if you want. Or they could be like, you know, different modes of transportation. But yeah, the color scheme is very dark, and I suppose you can fire out of here and he can 
use his weapon on the side here. So yes, there you have it. The rise of tyranny. Which apparently can start with, you know, certain senators who, you know, convince miners to uh, lead rebellions. I don't know. I don't want to make this political. You can just make your own decisions as far as politics. But, uh, you know, remember, criminals are so criminals. But there we go. The Rise of Tyranny 2-pack. Pretty cool set. I will put him with the Megatrons and you will go over and hang out with Soundwave, your future master. Ha! I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Still available on Amazon. In fact, I sent back <laughs> some so that uh, you could have more because I screwed up. And while you're mulling over this particular set, um, you can check out this over here, which is actually another two pack, the alternate history of Cybertron with the War Dawn two pack. And of course, like, share, subscribe. I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making them. See you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.